Okay, so I am in my backyard right now and I'm gonna be pulling some weeds today because as you can see, my garden back here, I've got one, two, I've got four raised beds. Another one we're just gonna let go and become grass again because I can't keep fighting the grass. Um, and I'm gonna try to get some fall planting done and get this these beds weeded out so that they can be utilized. I did not use them at all this summer, barely in the spring, and I gotta get my gardening game back on. So we're gonna pull some weeds together and try to make this garden look so much better than it was um, for the past several months. Okay, so as you can tell, we have a lot of weeding to do. I don't know if I'll get it all done today, but um, once it's all picked up and looks really nice and neat, then this garden actually can produce quite a bit of produce and my neighbor and I share it together. So she is not able to help me today, but the weather is really nice. It's dropped down to 72, which has been too hot to really work out here. So it's down to 72 and low humidity and a nice breeze. So it's a good day to be outside to be able to handle all this and I'm hoping I can get it done pretty quick. So, all right, just come on board with me and let's do some weeding together. I'm gonna get my gloves on. As you can see, I had some tomato plants here. And so I'm hoping that I can salvage them and get them producing again. We've just had a lot of rain and we recently had a hurricane. So um, I'm hoping that I can get the tomatoes going again and we can get this bed weeded out. Okay, I got one bed weeded. Now I've got three more to go. So I'll get back out there after I've had some water because it's really hot and keep plugging along. Oh my God, this is heavy. to like move here but um good morning everybody it is <clears throat> it's early um i came out here to check on my uh, newly weeded garden beds of my revived tomatoes and bell peppers and I've got my cup here that says oh my god you guys that's not what I said <laughs> I love this mug um, anyway I'm gonna head out and I want to I just watered but I wanted to show you something um, that about these plants because it's only been a few days since I've weeded and it's just really remarkable when you give plants space to be able to grow what happens so i'm going to show you let's go check it out 
Okay, so I wanted to show you, like, look at all these, like, little flowers and everything. These are a, like, cherry tomato um, breed. And I don't know about you, but I love the smell of a tomato plant. And there's tons of little flowers all over this thing that weren't here a few days ago. And um, so it's really promising that even though, you know, summer is almost done here in Central Florida, we have the ability to grow a lot of these things, summer crops year round because of our temperature. So I'm thinking that we're gonna get some more out of these tomato plants and we'll be able to enjoy some more tomatoes the rest of the year, even though my garden was really neglected and almost completely, completely done. <laughs> See, already here with these tomatoes, we have new flowers that are coming in. And let's see if you can see these right here. These were not here last time. And then while these kind of look a little bit sad, we've made room for more greenery and more growth and it's just really nice. I have this little guy that I uncovered. I didn't even know he was under there. And then a basil plant that I found in one of my other gardens that was just kind of hanging out there on its own. So I transplanted it. I found a tomato that needed some extra love. And so, um, He's thriving and doing well too. Okay, now check this out. These bell peppers here, see the little leaves all right here? It's new growth, that wasn't here before. That's so cool. Like there's another little leaf right there. And I want you to look, look at this guy. Look, there were little flowers here yesterday, but these are tiny little bell peppers and these leaves have just taken off. Um, and we have other, other little flowers right back here that weren't here before it's just so promising like it only took a few days and then things have really started changing okay I am gonna go ahead and start adding this seedling mix it's you want to make sure that you get like a potting mix just made for starting seedlings because it's got all the fertilizer and the peat moss and everything it's got good drainage you want to be able to use this to be able to um, start your seeds for, I'm going to do this for my fall bed. And um, right now I'm just going to put the dirt in, but I'm going to um, plant out the seeds and I need to label it because you want to make sure you know exactly what seeds are in what containers so that you, because I drew out a map, I took the time to draw, draw out a map of where everything's going to go. So I want to make sure that I know what things are because they all kind of look the same at first <laughs> and then go from there so I'm gonna fill this up with dirt and then um, a little bit later when I have some more time um, I need to kind of organize my day I need to go write down some things <laughs> but um, I'm gonna do this first so at least I've got one step taken care of so I just kind of dump a big mound right here and then I'm going to smooth it out. Because really when you um, when you wet it down it um, it's gonna shrink some more anyway, and you want it to be packed down tight. So I'm gonna add some more. And I usually put these outside on top of like, we have a, um, a box for our pool equipment, like our pool noodles and toys and stuff like that. And I usually put this on top of there because it gets enough sunlight and enough, and it's in a good place where I can keep it watered really well. 
All right, that's good for now. Okay, so I am gonna move some of this stuff out of the way, but I've been making labels um, to mark my seedlings because you gotta know what you're planting. So I have pretty much, ow, it's pulling out my hair on my arm. It's free waxing. Um, I have all leafy green things listed so far that are gonna go into this tray. And I wanna make sure that they kind of stick on the edge. Usually I use like a masking tape or something, but I couldn't find it. You want something that's gonna hold up like while you're watering and whatever. Um, so with the lettuces, I'm gonna plant four of each and I've dedicated one box to, um, only to planting lettuces and that's it. So. Another one I have um, container containers for four large cabbages and in the lettuce box there's also going to go some kale. So which I like kale because you can freeze it or whatever with it and then add it to soups or cook it once it's frozen. So I'm going to go ahead and um, because I know I only want like four of each. I'm hoping that I'm gonna know. Maybe I might even make these like little popsicle sticks or something, but this seems to be okay. Um, maybe I'll do, I'll divide these up like this. I don't know if you can see this. I've got this down here. This helps me to really know what is what so that nothing gets mixed up. Not like, I mean, I just, I wanna make sure that I'm planting it in the right places. Not that it really matters because I'm gonna find out what it is anyway, once it's grown. But as far as like placement goes, I wanna make sure everything's in the right place. All right, so I've got these done. And it's hot up here in the garage. So I think I'm gonna move this to the back patio and finish planting some other things. And then I need to clean this off. I don't know where the little mini sweeper is. Oh well, I guess I'll find that later. Okay, so now I got those outside. I'm gonna go finish filling these with this potting mix and get some more seedlings going. Let's go outside. I was out here with you guys the other day. I planted all these a while ago, but they are looking so, so good. And I just wanted to show you this. So like, I had no idea like what this was. I was like, oh my gosh, these leaves are growing in all funky. Like what is happening? But then my friend and I who garden together, where is this little guy at? We have a tiny tomato. Here he is. See, look, I think it's an heirloom because look, it's got like the little ridges in it. So I'm excited about that. Then my basil plant is really thriving. I just fertilized, so there's like white stuff everywhere. Um, and I am using, what am I using for fertilizer? It's, um, oh gosh, I forgot the name. I'll let you know. But anyway, there's tons of flowers everywhere and they're starting to, turn into tomatoes. See, look, we got another little tomato right there. Isn't that great? And this has grown like another foot and a half. 